I've been running around like mad, uh, so this is my video for yesterday. Yesterday, I went to the women's only uh, track event put on by Michelin and Accelerating Change. Uh, it was a really neat event, and uh, we started out showing up at Road Atlanta to, uh, to spend a beautiful day at the track. There was rain the night before, um, but by the time we got there, it became beautiful out, and it stayed beautiful throughout the day. for women to experience the automotive world, and we're really excited to have you here, not only the participants, but also the instructors, and of course our sponsors, everyone's been so supportive, so thank you very much for everything you guys have done. driver's meeting and everything, they broke us instructors off, had a quick little briefing, and then paired us up with our students. Um, I had an incredible student, her name was Michelle, um, she was driving a Corvette ZR1, which was crazy and a whole lot of fun, and she had a whole lot of fun. Um, after the first session, we then came back and had a classroom session to kind of put, bring everything back together. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Follow it around. We want to be on the left side. A little bit of brakes here. Turn in, excellent. Back over to the left side, follow that left side around. And then we wanna keep ourselves on the left. Yep, yep. Go ahead and get your eyes up, but stay straight. Mm -hmm. Stay straight. Stay straight. Now turn in, there you go. Right. Now find that straight line. Yep. Look all the way up there, find that straight line and follow it up. Mm -hmm. Excellent, now stay to the right. Mm -hmm. And now turn into the left. Bring it back over to the right. There we go, stay to the right. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm feeling better. Okay, now, good. I'm gonna break a little bit, yep. not like you. That's all right. And then I'm gonna, okay. There and you go. And then I'm gonna. Keep it all the way to the left. Uh-huh. Hang uh -huh. there for a second, then turn to the right. Uh-huh. Yep, let the car go out wide. Out. Yep. And then line up under that yellow marker. Yep. And just have Stay. it turn slightly to the right, just a little more to the right. Right there. Somewhere in between there. See, okay, yeah, it, I need to get weird. over a it little just, bit. Yeah. Exactly, it takes some time. Now go okay. ahead and get your eyes way up there. Okay. Look way up there, excellent. Now let the car carry itself out to the left side and roll on the throttle. Remember when you're straight, it's safe to be on the gas. Mm -hmm. Too bad, and that's not really what I'm trying to critique here. What I'm critiquing is the big braking, yeah. and then off the brake, and then kind of coasting through the turn. Oh, yeah. So what I'd like to see you do is get to the throttle sooner. Now, I don't want to gotcha. do it at the expense of being abrupt on the throttle, mm -hmm. but if you can get off the brake, mm -hmm. and then immediately on the throttle, just like, I mean, decent brake to touch the throttle gotcha. and then start rolling into it yeah. with with minimal dead space in yeah. between. Because I've still got a lot of dead space. Right. Yeah. And and the reason I say that is because what starts to happen um, oops, should have stopped that earlier. What starts to happen when we're going through that turn, mm -hmm. if you if you start rolling on the throttle, you're putting positive pressure on those rear tires. Mm -hmm. So as you're carrying through the turn, when you're trying to spin those rear tires yeah. to go forward, you want weight back there yeah. to make sure that happens. So, yeah. Right? yeah. So you want some throttle. Now, you don't want to spin them up because this mm -hmm. car has plenty of power to do that. Mm -hmm. But you want to make sure that you're shifting the weight slightly back so you can make that turn. Yeah, because what I've done... I've stopped pushing the brake, but I'm not pushing the gas. Right. Yeah, I got and you. So that's what we want to work on Good. next time is just Good. getting off the brake on the gas, like 1%. Good deal. And then you start adding a little more, and you gently roll through all the way through the turn. Yep. Okay? Yep. And we're going to... Direction on the mountain road, it's a lot better than having all that cross traffic and those damn cops and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> and did everybody do the point fives? Everybody, everybody got that. Everybody worked that out. We had a representative at the event named Sarah, and she knows so much about tires. Um, she 
works for Michelin and she shared a lot of that knowledge with us and I'll uh, provide a few clips here so that you can kind of start to digest what, what she shared with us. Everybody ultimately wants to go faster because if you are faster in control, that means that you are becoming a more skilled driver and it all applies to what you're doing on the road. Reasons. In a perfect world, there's one tire that rules them all. We haven't figured it out yet. Otherwise, there would be no other tire company in business. So they all suit different needs and different consumers. And out here, we generally want to be using high performance all season or summer tire. When you think about what an all season tire has to do, it's the tread design, what you see, that is built and designed to deal with what's on top of the road. It's designed to deal with conditions. And then the type of rubber mix, the compound, is how we deal with like the broad sweeping temperature changes. That's why like when they're racing and they're talking about hot, medium, cold, or soft, medium, hard, they're talking about the type of compound and the temperature range where that compound wants to work. Your summer tires have a compound that's usually higher grip. It's, you know, it's better in wet and dry. Whenever it can touch the ground, it has more adhesion when you're above, say like 37 degrees, all right? And then the tread design that he's talking about, it has bigger, more continuous blocks. It doesn't have all those cuts, what we call sipes in them, because those exist for the all season stuff to dig through what? Snow, not even rain. Summer tires are really, really good in rain because they have these big circumferential grooves that help to deal with standing water, all right? And then the blocks, because they don't have all these cuts in them, what does that mean? They're a little more rigid. So, heat is the natural enemy of tire. So there are two ways, two primary ways that we can build heat. One, by having the tread block move around and squirm. And that happens with the all season and the winter tires because they've got so many cuts and you know we put bridges and stuff in there to keep them better at high speed but ultimately it's not like a summer tire or a slick competition tire that has no tread design in it. Transfer of that cornering force from the bead area that's attached to the wheel to the tread what we call the summit and the contact patch that's touching the ground there's a huge delay there and that's where you get that kind of willowy washy feeling and it also Think about it, that's where you're generating heat because a tire consists of hundreds of different design elements and constructions and where the fabric is laid and the angle of the wires, all of that comes into play. So everybody, when you go like this, what happens? You're, you're building heat. So when you've got low pressure and you don't have the air pushing out against the body of the tire, You've allowed everything to relax. When you turn in and you get that willowy feeling, you're generating a lot more heat in the bead area and in the shoulder area. And that heat is ultimately what leads to tire failure in a bad way, but also you're not maximizing the performance of the tire. That was an absolute event of a lifetime. Um, the staff did an excellent job. This was a women's only track day uh, that was put on. I was here just instructing and helping out uh, incredible. Uh, my, my student did an excellent job. She drove a Corvette ZR1, which is not the ideal first time track car, um, but she did excellent with it. And I think she left with a real appreciation for the sport, which is what it's all about. I think a lot of these women will come back and participate. Now that they've gotten over the hump from zero to trying this out, um, I think this has been a really effective tool to show them what it's all about and show them that they Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't feel out of place at an event like this. So I'm really excited to see uh, a lot of these people take this seriously and, 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 and join in. And uh, hopefully we start to shift, shift the numbers around and, and we don't need something like this because we, we see even representation in, in events. So that's the hope. Um, I had a blast and I, I know my student did and I hope everyone else did as well. So great event and as always, love this track, love it here. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.